Hi, and welcome to Checking In at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper. We are in the middle of the International Arrivals Facility. This is the Grand Hall. It's going to be a great visual aspect of the entire IAF. And we're going to talk about ART, that is art. We're going to bring in with us Tommy Greger, who is our art curator here at SEA. Right here at the bag claim level, we see some beautiful, colorful, dramatic art that's right up above here. What are we looking at, Tommy? Very high. We're looking at a massive public art installation by Morella Zacharias, internationally known artist, uh, created this piece here in Seattle. We're looking at just two of five. Can you tell me, is this something that take, has taken a, quite a bit to get assembled and put together? How does oh, this work? Yeah, this is, this is many years in the making, mm -hmm. and uh, the construction of it is, is actually quite um, as complex as it is. She's using very basic building materials, so she's working with um, wood, uh, wire mesh, uh, joint compound, which is basically uh, uh, sheetrock mud, and then uh, primer and paint, uh, which you see here. She's she's done an amazing job with it. But yeah, very complex installation. And this is inspired by the Northwest, correct? Can you tell it us is. about that? Yes. So not only, do, I think it, it definitely stems from her studio practice as a muralist, but her time here in, in Seattle is coming up with concepts. So what we see is in the color palette, um, inspiration from the San Juan Island sunsets and sunrises, uh, our waterways in Puget Sound and Columbia River. Basically, she mined those color palettes and generated uh, these great monumental sculptures for us. Wow, terrific. And as we look a little bit to the south, you can see there's three other bag claims that this will include as well, too. So there'll be one on each one of them. You can see the steel beam that's above each one of them where the next ones will go. But also in the area looking to the south, Tommy, We've got another piece that's coming, right? We do. So the, you saw the two Morella pieces and uh, three more carousels to go. We should be done in 2020. And then shortly after that, we will be installing three monumental suspended sculptures, mobiles more or less, by uh, Ned Kahn, a very well-known public artist uh, just to our south in California. And that's going to be right near the escalators, correct? Yes, it'll be between those escalators and the last bag claim, kind of where the American flag is. Okay, and what? tell me a little bit more about that piece. What's that uh, about? So serendipitously, Ned and Morella are both inspired by nature. Uh, Ned's piece um, by, by wind, because it's a kinetic uh, mobile uh, that moves independently uh, with um, his great understanding of engineering and technology, uh, but it, it does play very well with the water and the, and the uh, color inspirations that, that Morella has, and then Ned is uh, playing in very well with his also studio practice and working with the natural environment, but, but um, the homage he's paying is with mechanical and, and uh, metallic materials. Well, excellent. Art is a very important aspect of what we have here at SEA. Very Thanks much. for curating this for us, Tommy. Appreciate it and giving us this explanation. We're excited for you to come and finally see it when it opens sometime here in 2021. Thanks for joining us at Checking In at SEA.